Welcome back to the Crypto Millionaires Club. Today we're going to be diving down into Pulse X bridging. You heard that correct. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, that this is the test net. This is not the main net. So today I'm going to show you how this is going to be done. Now, the big question is, is once everything goes live, will it be the exact same way? Well, we do not know. There's a good chance. Yes. Or they may actually redo the whole website. We have no idea. So today I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what we have currently in front of us. So let's go ahead and get started. If you guys will, be sure that smash up that like button to help this video get it out to other pulse chain holders not only that but smash up that subscribe button because we cover pulse x and pulse chain every single day so diving down into the test net of pulse x you guys will see up here we have connect wallets gonna be very very important that you guys connect your wallet so in this case i do have metamask and i have already connected it so over here on the top left you guys can see where it states trade right now we're currently on exchange and then you have liquidity and then you have earn which is farms and pools and then after that you have burn you have info you have voting and then you have the word bridge so today we're going to click on bridge and it is going to take us to another website now it's going to be very important that you guys check out the url to make sure everything is real and everything is legit you do not want anyone to have any type of information of yours not only that you guys to connect to your wallet so if we go ahead and connect right here it's going to give us an opportunity to connect to metamask this is wallet connect this is i'm token and this is coinbase so you're able to connect any of those wallets so i'm going to connect my metamask and then there we go so you guys can see that i am already connected see it's right up here that i'm actually connected in metamask to pulse chain so i can even pull down my metamask wallet so you guys can actually see that i am on pulse chain test net this is what you need to be on if you guys don't know how to set this up i have another video on how to integrate pulse chain into metamask so be sure you guys check that out so if we go ahead and take a look you guys this is exactly what it is going to look like okay very easy and very simple to understand if you have not done any type of bridging well i'm pretty sure there's a lot of other videos out there that will help you so in this case today we're just going to be focusing as stated on the pulse chain bridge so you're probably thinking well what is bridging well technically this is one this is when you're going to go from one net so one main net to another main net and that is it all right so if we take a look here you guys can see at the very top it says send so we got tp ls the t stands for test net okay so you guys can see if we click right here we have many different options okay so we got t pulse we got hex we got eth all right we got usddc and then we have usdt so these are the different assets that technically it's giving us at this current moment remember that this is the test net all right and then down here we got receive okay you guys can see up here where it says t okay and then if down here we got a p all right so these are two different nets all right so we have a main net here obviously this is test net and then we have a main net here so you're swapping chains this is exactly what you are doing okay so let's say you have a whole bunch of erc20 tokens what you're going to do is you're going to swap all those from erc20 from the ethereum network and you're going to switch them over to the pulse chain network okay uh, hopefully that hopefully you guys get an understand of how exactly this is going to work so right here all we're going to do is click on swap that is it and you guys are going to see where it's going to take us once again to the metamask wallet obviously you want to connect you guys can see where it states right here we got the rink of b test net you can actually switch to that but you have to make sure that you have this set up in your metamask wallet so whatever networks you were switching from so in this case we have rink of b test net i have to make sure i have this integrated into my metamask wallet okay i want to make that very clear okay so in this case you would have to switch from one network to another network so eventually in the future what we're going to be doing is we're going to be switching technically everything from ethereum to the pulse chain network so this is exactly how it's going to work so what you're going to do once it gets to this point all right you're going to click on connect right swap and then obviously you're going to go ahead and connect right and you're going to switch the network that is exactly what you're going to do okay so i'm going to go ahead and switch network and boom there we go so you guys can see that we do have a switch right here at this current moment.
okay so you guys can see everything just switch different nets that is exactly what happened plain and simple plain and easy if you guys have any questions please feel free to ask obviously in the future if you want you can switch it back again so you guys will see that it's going to show up real quick ring can be test nets right so obviously you can switch it back let's see if it will and boom there we go all right, so this is what you're doing. You're just switching from one main net to another. All right, you're switching your tokens, you're switching everything you got, and that is it. So if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. But thank you very much. Have a great one, and ciao.